I believe this could be very important, Arius. It's hard to tell from here, William. I'd need to see the picture firsthand. This part of the Chronicles seems to refer to Lemuria's Needle. Hmm, perhaps. Uh, Mr. Narius, is it Needle as in Compass? And is it connected to our piece of the Ephemcron? It could be, but then again. My family has been searching for lost Lemuria for generations, Narius. Why are you being so mysterious? Ugh, Mysterious is probably his middle name. Mysterious is not my middle name. I think Mysterious is his first name. Mysterious, not first either. Marius? Ah, uh, we lost the signal. Huh? And look, isn't that Mr. Mysterious? Marius? How? Of course. He pretends he's miles away, then makes a surprise entrance. Hmm, that does sound like his style. Well, this time, let's surprise him. Surprise! Huh? You're not Nereus. You must be Fontaine. And you must be Antaeus. I'm so pleased to meet you. My name is Proteus. My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into men. My family are explorers, and we explore the deep. I feel like I've been waiting to meet the Necton family my entire life. So, like, a really long time. Ow! My friend Nereus always has some reason not to introduce us. So, you know Nereus? As well as anyone can, he's a little mysterious. Ugh, I know, right? But I'm here to help you find Lemuria's Needle. How did you know we were looking for Lemuria's Needle? Well, you were in the area. Huh? Mede! Mede! Can anyone hear me? Aranax, receiving you. What's the nature of your emergency? I am Captain Marco, the Icebreaker Macintosh. We're trapped in pack ice. We have your coordinates. We're on our way. Thank you. Please hurry. Nectans, we have a ship in distress. Everyone back to the bridge. Oh, why? Sounds urgent. You better come aboard. Captain Marco. We'll be arriving in 20 minutes. Hang on. Narius and I are both members of the Guardians. Narius once mentioned something about Guardians, but never told us what they do. We basically try to preserve Lemurian culture. But why wouldn't Narius just say that? Narius and I do things differently. To be honest, sometimes I wonder if he wants you to find Lemuria at all. Lemuria's Needle and the Ephemacron are connected. I knew it! When all the pieces of the Ephemacron are connected, it forms an ancient navigational computer. And here in the Chronicle, it reads, The wielder of the Ephemacron is the Wayfinder and the compass of their people. I've been trying to translate that for months. Thank you. My pleasure. When was the last time Narius translated anything for us? He does. Occasionally. Once or twice. The Chronicle suggests you will find this by heading due north. Just so we're clear, Proteus now rates way above Narius in my book. He doesn't play games. Narius is kind of intentionally mysterious, isn't he, Jeffrey? Good point. See? You know how to give a straight answer. Aranax, are you reading me? Captain Marco, we're almost there. My boat is at the point of breaking up! The Macintosh cannot take any more of this! It won't have to. Hold on to something. What? Why do I have to hold on to something? Where are <laughs> That just might do it. We'll carve a channel to open water for you. Incredible! Thank you! You're welcome. Stay safe, Captain Marco. Aaron XO. Full steam ahead!
over 20 miles from True North. If I read this correctly, you'll need to turn to port three degrees, head towards Magnetic North, and descend. Technically, True North is right at the top of the planet, but compasses point to Magnetic North, where the Earth's magnetic field is focused. Yes, it is fascinating. Ernest, your transponder signal. Nereus, your signal is very weak. You almost got cold. Yes, your friend Proteus is with us. He says he has something to show us. Hello, old friend. Proteus, be careful of the... Mr. Nereus, be careful of what? We lost the signal. Be careful of the... What could he have meant? Maybe he was trying to be mysterious again. He was trying to warn us of something. Now, now, Antaeus, you have nothing to fear. Trust me. Depth is 1.2 kilometers. We can't go much deeper. What's that? A mountain? Engines off. Is that what I think it is? Indeed it is. That is the North Pole. Wow. Incredible. Look, the North Pole floats. In ancient times, Lemurians placed this here. It marks the exact position of magnetic north. Chronicle states that when assembled, the Ephemacron will align itself with Lemuria's needle. Using this and other significant markers, it can calculate the route to Lemuria. This is almost too amazing to believe. <laughs> believe it, William. Some guardians delight in sharing their knowledge, especially with keen adventurers such as yourselves. Thank you, Proteus. I want to know what Narius meant by be careful. Don't pretend, Jeffrey. I know you're curious, too. With the radio buoy deployed, we might get a stronger signal. Aranax to Narius! Aranax to Narius! Narius! Can you hear me? Who's let Proteus aboard? What? Yes, Proteus is here. What did you mean by be careful? Be quits about you. What? Hello, Narius? I thought you'd be more interested in the North Pole. Uh, I am. I... It's incredible. You're very smart, aren't you, Antaeus? And, Fontaine, please prepare the rover for deployment immediately. Your father wants to see the Pole up close. It's the eighth wonder of the world. Hmm. Something smells fishy here. Oh, sorry, Jeffrey. Not you. Moving closer to the obelisk. What an incredible vehicle! You want a closer look? Yes, please. Uh, maybe just don't press any buttons. Hmm, that's strange. Thanks, Fontaine. Uh, where's the Ephemacron? Ant, did you put the Ephemacron back in my study? Ant? Ant! Your technology is impressive. Everything is so easy to operate. Uh, does don't press any buttons mean something different where you come from? Ant! Fontaine! I can't get through to the rover. Can you ask Ant if he put the Ephemacron back in the study? Ant, did you put the Ephemacron away? Huh? Proteus, what are you doing? Ant, come in. Where are you going? Why are you leaving without me? Dad, can you try to reach Ant? Ant, do you copy? Proteus, take us back now. Rover to Aranax. Rover to Aranax. Hello? So, somehow that thing blocks radio signals, right? Oh, you are clever. Where are you taking me? Ed, 
Can you hear me? What? Will, look. Huh? Look out! Huh? We're speeding up. Then it's not me. We're being pulled. Point of the Earth's magnetic field. It's a giant electromagnet. Proteus and Ant are gone. What? How? In the rover, just before things went crazy. Proteus was driving. Aaron to rover. Can you hear me, Ant? I have a plan. Jeffrey is wondering why. Narius believes you are the one. Which one? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The Chosen One alone has the ability to assemble the pieces of the Ephemicron. It's time to fulfill your destiny. I'm in position. The Magnite is made of carbon fiber, completely non-conductive. Okay, so it can't be magnetized and stuck, but why do you want the seaplane's cover? It's thermoplastic, Fontaine. Also non-conductive. You're gonna try to save us with a plastic sheet? If I can wrap it around the pole's base, it might cut off the energy supply, weaken the magnetism, and free the Aranax. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> no offense, but do we have a plan B? If you can make the Anemicron whole, the power will be ours. Never trust a man who carries a staff, Jeffrey. Stop playing! You will help me. Not a chance. Your parents are in mortal danger. Mayday! Mayday! Unless I tell your family how to save the Aranax, they'll be trapped forever. If you want them free, prove to me that you are the one. on itself. Take this. What? Hey, that's ours. Not anymore. Take this too. But that's... Your task is simple. The Chronicle tells us the One will join the pieces of the Ephemicron together. There's supposed to be three. Two should be enough to prove if you're genuine. Or not. If I do this, You'll help my family? Of course. <sighs> okay, I must go this way. <laughs> oh. Ugh, that's it? That's the best you can do? Narius was wrong about you. You're just an annoying child. show you've blocked most of the energy flow coming from the Earth. I'm trying the engines now. Ugh. I'm sorry, Will. It wasn't enough. <laughs> Help! This guy believes in destinies and wears robes as casual clothes! Radio for help! My family is in danger! Your little friend is noisy, Proteus. You two. He's also quite useless to me. Captain Marco will take you far away. I cannot allow Narius to know of these events. You didn't help my family. You didn't put the Ephemicron together. You... you were lying. You were never gonna help them. 
That's a bigger drop than I was expecting. Are you sure about this, Keiko? A charge through the hall should reverse our polarity, like turning a magnet around. So instead of being attracted, we'll be repelled? That's the theory. But if it works, it could be a rough ride. The pole's diminished magnetism will slow the rate of repulsion, so the Aranex should be able to stay in one piece. Should be able to? Well, there isn't a plan C, is there? On three, one, two, three. Hook <laughs> these to the auxiliary batteries. That really doesn't sound good. Oh, that was a bigger drop than I was expecting. How are we doing? We're ready to reverse polarity. Guardian endangers people's lives. Give me that. Proteus? Jeffrey, stay. Polarity reversing now! We're free! I wasn't expecting it to be this smooth! to do what you did, Proteus. This fool is not the one. And you are in no position to speak this way to the head of the Guardians. It has been decided, Proteus. You are no longer a Guardian. Have it your way, Nereus. I have no need for the Guardians or the boy. Oh, no. He's got both pieces of the Ephemicron. <laughs> Go after him! Don't worry, Antaeus. He won't get far. What's all this stuff about the one? You are important, Antaeus. But Proteus' strange beliefs are deluded. Go ahead, Glaucus. We have searched the Icebreaker. Proteus has vanished. Well, that's annoying. Uh, thank you. Nereus, why would Proteus endanger all of our lives to find Lemuria? What's there that he could want so badly? Oh, the same thing sad, unimaginative people always want, Keiko. Wealth and power. At least, the Guardians believe that's what's there. Some people think you should share more of the Guardian's knowledge, Mr. Narius. Honestly, Antaeus, we are no closer to finding Lemuria than you are. Any information I give you may only hinder you. With both pieces of the Ephemicron, 
does that mean Proteus will find Lemuria? But he doesn't have the third piece, and he doesn't have you. I believe you, the Necton family, are far more important than any ancient artifacts. Why? Oh, call it a hunch. <sighs> He's back, Mr. Mysterious. Yes, I get that a lot. <laughs>